Welcome back to self-defense. Today, we're diving into a national ambition that, if it succeeds, could fundamentally reshape the global aerospace landscape. That's not a small claim. And it all centers on India's quest for true self-reliance and a single formidable machine, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, the AMCA. But this is so much more than just another fighter jet. This is a multi-billion dollar bet on something far bigger, technological sovereignty. So, what exactly are we talking about here? Imagine a single seat, twin engine, fifth generation stealth fighter, designed for one strategic purpose, to eventually replace the mighty Sukhoi 30 MKI, the current backbone of the Indian Air Force. This isn't an upgrade, this is a generational replacement. And the goals are staggering. To be a true fifth-generation aircraft, the AMCA must have three non-negotiable features. First, an incredibly low radar cross-section, pure stealth. Second, internal weapons bays to keep that sleek profile intact. And third, the holy grail, sustained super cruise. That's the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without the fuel-guzzling afterburner. That is what separates the elite from the rest of the pack. Now, the timeline. This project has been in the works for over a decade, but in 2024, it finally got the crucial green light, moving it from the drawing board to reality. The plan is aggressive, the first prototype is slated for around 2026, with the first flight targeted for 2028 or 2029. And the Air Force isn't just dabbling, they're planning for over 120 of these jets. But here's where the story gets really interesting, and where we hit the program's greatest challenge, the engine. For decades, Jet engine technology has been the critical gap. The previous attempt, the Kaviri engine, famously fell short. So, they devised a brilliant two-stage plan. The initial AMCA models will use a reliable American-made engine to get the program flying on schedule. But the real prize, the key to true independence and that super cruise capability rests on a brand new custom built power plant. And this is where a monumental deal comes in. The French engine giant Safran was chosen to co develop this new engine in a deal worth over $7 billion. But the real headline isn't the money. It's what was reportedly on the table, 100% transfer of technology and full intellectual property rights. Let that sink in. India would own the design. They could manufacture, modify, maintain, and even export these engines without ever asking for permission. It's a complete game changer. And we're talking about the most advanced secrets, like the manufacturing of single crystal turbine blades, components that allow an engine to withstand unimaginable heat and stress. This is the crown jewel of jet engine tech. Now, for the cautious optimism. We've heard promises like this before. Critics rightly point out that past technology transfers have been slow delayed for years. And there's another persistent bottleneck, India's industrial capacity to actually build these complex machines at the required speed and scale. The Indian Air Force is facing a significant squadron shortfall today. Delays here aren't just about projects, they're about national security. So 
To bring it all together, the AMCA and this landmark engine deal represent a historic pivot, a bold move from being a buyer to becoming a builder, a co-creator, if, and it remains a significant if, if they can execute, if they can absorb this immense technological knowledge and translate it into a self-sustaining industrial base, it will completely transform the nation's aerospace destiny. So the ultimate question remains, with the blueprint secured, is the biggest challenge now the technical execution, or is it the political and industrial will to see this through, no matter what? Because if they can't fully absorb this technology, they may never get another chance at true aerospace independence.